Here's a new story dissecting wheeling from Creative Impressions and Wheeling History. I've been wanting to show these pictures for a long time, and it might take me more than a minute to tell this story. Um, and these are so beautiful. They were taken uh, late 1800s, or early 1900s. And uh, this first one is looking north on Jacob Street at 16th. And um, look how beautiful the trees are and everything. And the only thing I can really recognize would be to the left there. And there's a, uh, you can see a tiny little bit of the building and it's still there. And it's the, um, I think it's like the VFW. Uh, I'm not sure what post. Um, but I think this is Brick Streets, uh, you know, trolley tracks. This next one would be 16th Street looking west. And uh, you can see this little girl toward the left there. That would be right where Channel 7 is now. Um, these, these images are just remarkable. This next one is uh, 16th looking um, east. And uh, you can see off to the uh, right there that same uh, little, uh, it was, I think, a restaurant bar uh, at that time. And you're looking out 16th Street toward uh, the convenience store and what, what you would know now as the entrance to uh, Route 2 or Interstate 70. And, uh, and this next one is uh, looking south. And again, you can see that same uh, bar to the, to the right there. And that, that there's a guy sitting on the step, and he's in almost every one of these pictures. Um, so I don't know how this guy, he, he must have just went around. It looks like a Sunday morning, and he must have just went around and took every angle. And uh, toward the left on this one would be where uh, the auto repair is right now. And Good, Goodyear used to be there, or Goodrich, or something like that. But uh, these are amazing pictures, I mean, for the age of, of, of them. I hope you like this story. If you want to support what we're doing, hit the like, share, and thanks button. Please visit our website at wheelinghistory.net. We have 10 books related to wheeling history, and we have a 12-page flood supplement from the 1936 flood.